Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamashanaka by lies according to Shah get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of the great millstone that rule well. Shalom, one more hablaba, Yahshua, Yahshua, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson, Baharukha Kodash, Shah, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video. Um, really, it's kind of like a response. I don't know what I'm uh, title it exactly. I might just put uh, uh, the same title as the rest of the um, elders and the other brothers that's been doing um, a lesson um, concerning this topic. Uh, being focused on your ministry first, not your woman, children, or family. All right. So the the uh, point of this video is focus on our ministry. Okay, in the book of 1 Corinthians, the 16th chapter, it talks about the house of Stephanus and how they were addicted to the ministry. That has to be our mentality. Okay, so let's get that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 13. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. So we have to stay on our watch. We have to continue to pray. Like the Lord said in the book of Matthew, the 26th chapter, watch that ye enter not into temptation. Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So in order to escape temptation, in order to increase our spirit and beat the flesh, we have to continue to watch for the prophecies. We have to, we have to stand on our watch. All right. We have to continue to pray. We have to continue to do the things that the Lord told us to do. All right. To build up our spirit, to build up our faith, and so on and so forth. To get closer onto Him. And scripture say, the scripture say in the book of James, draw nigh unto the Lord, and He'll draw nigh unto you. How do we draw nigh unto Him? By being obedient uh, 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 to His word. By stand, we have to be. In order to be obedient to His word, we have to be in His word. We have to study His word. All right. And then we do uh, uh, the best that we can in applying this word while we're in this wicked, vile body. Hoping that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai gives us mercy. In the book of Psalms, it says, "Thou knowest that my frame is but dust." The scriptures say also, I believe it's in Psalms also, it says if the Lord were to count iniquity, who can stand? Who can stand? We all need mercy, man. All right. So we need to be doing everything that we can to um, obtain that mercy, to be found worthy in the eyes of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let me grab that real quick in the book of Luke, man. I don't have nothing written out or anything like that. I've been watching these uh, brothers and these elders lessons and I figured out uh, what well, the spirit hopped on me. All right, to um to, to land back on it. All right, to continue to push that vibration because we are in the end of this wicked, vile society. We are in the end of this world. Matter of fact, this is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So we're seeing these different signs, uh, uh, these um, uh, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, blood moons, okay? Um, and upon the earth, distress of nations. We're seeing distress of nations. There's uproars all over the world, as it says in the book of uh, Second Edge, the ninth chapter. I don't want to write this out. We're going to get that when these. Um, it says uh, there shall be earthquakes and uproars of the people, all right, all around the world. Roughly paraphrasing, I don't want to write this out. We're going to get it. It says, and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. You go into this word perplexity, one of the definitions is a uh, lack of resources. All right, and there's about to be a, a there's already a global food shortage. You, if you notice, the price of certain foods is is increasing. All right, partly due to the shortages and partly due to the um to the inflation of the U.S. dollar. It says uh, the sea, and it's it's only gonna get worse. All right, it's only going to get worse. They keep printing out this money and handing out all this cash. It's only going to get worse. All right. It says, and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. All right. So the things that's coming on this earth ain't nothing pretty, man. In the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter says a time like no other. Also in the book of Daniel, the 12th chapter, a, t a time like no other since there was a nation, man. All right. So we're coming into some trying times and we need to be focused uh, 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 and preparing for these trying times and how do we prepare for these trying times not physically this is not a physical battle the weapons of our warfare is not carnal we walk in the spirit and not in the flesh okay it says to be spiritually minded is life to be carnally minded is death so we prepare ourselves spiritually all right we're putting on our armor spiritually okay it says for the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Yahweh Shai is on his way, so our main focus has to be what? Preparing for the bridegroom's return, being ready for our king and his arrival. 
which is going to be soon and very soon. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw off nigh. We're seeing these things come to pass. Therefore, our redemption draw off nigh. Therefore, that's, that's what our main focus should be on, escaping these sad perils, escaping the judgment that's to come. I'm going to jump down. It's the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. We have to take heed to ourselves, examine ourselves. Make sure we're utilizing the little time that we have left wisely. Okay? It says, Lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. We can't get caught up in the cares of this life. We are soldiers for Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Alright? And since us being soldiers for Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, our main... Our main... Um, uh, our mind frame or our mentality is winning the war. Okay, it's fighting for the one that's chosen us to be a soldier. This is first. This is Second Timothy chapter two and two. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. That's that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is looking for, and that's what he has us out on the highways and byways for, and putting all these lessons up, man. All right, to edify the Lord's elect. Okay, giving this to faithful men. Faithful men, okay, who is able to teach others. Verse 3, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So we're going to have to go through through trials and tribulations. And the trials and tribulations that we go through is making us harder. It's making us stronger, right? In that Corinthians, it says, stand fast in the faith. Stand strong in the faith, right? And then in the, the trials and tribulations that uh, Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai brings us through makes our faith stronger, increases our faith and our spirit. Verse 4, it says, no man that war entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. This life is temporary. Okay? Scripture says, look not the things which are seen, but the things which are unseen. For the things which are seen are temporary, and the things which are unseen are eternal. So we can't get caught up in the things that we see. We can't get caught up in this temporary life, in the affairs of this world. Okay? It says, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier. It's all about pleasing Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Of course, if you have a woman, you give due benevolence. If you have children, you take care of those children. Okay? But this has to be the number one priority. Alright? This has to be the number one priority. Otherwise, when shit is the fan, you can kiss your woman, your children, and yourself goodbye. This has to be... Before everything, the Lord says, "You cannot be my disciple unless you love you. Uh, if you um, hate not your father, your mother, your wife, your children. All right, yea, in your own life also. Okay, which that word hate means to love less. We have to love all those things less than Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai is first and foremost. All right, they came to Yahweh Shai and asked them, "What? What's the greatest law?" Yahweh Shai said, "To love Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai with all your." Heart with all your soul, with all your spirit, okay. Not love your woman with all your heart. Not love your a uh, 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 woman with all your spirit and, and and everything that you got. All right. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai comes first, and if we put him first, everything else will be taken care of, as it says in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all these things shall be added onto you. Everything else will be taken care of. We have to do our part in pushing this word. All right. We have to do our part in participating in this ministry. Okay. And serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai diligently being not slothful in business. Again, having the same mentality of Yahweh Shai. It says, let this minus in Yahweh Shai be within you. He said, I'm about my father's business. He said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. So now is the time to be going hard for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai before this fucking destruction comes, man. And it's going to come upon this world like a thief in the night. We're going to see uh, uh, shit start to intensify in these next couple of months, man. It's going to it's gonna go from zero to a hundred. In these next few months, okay? It said, that's it on that. Let's go back to Luke chapter 21 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting. It's like you be, over, yeah, be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. So we have to examine ourselves daily. For as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, keyword, watch ye therefore, and pray, another key word, and pray always. This is this is this is what our focus is. This is what we should be doing every day, checking off our to-do list every single day. Watch ye therefore, and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things, that ye may be able to be uh, slacky. 
that ye may be a, be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So we have to stay on our watch. We have to continue to watch diligently. We have to continue to serve Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai diligently. All right. Standing fast in this faith. Okay. Diligently. Praying diligently. Okay. For what? That we may that we uh, may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. All the hell that's to come. The martial law, the famine, okay, the collapse of the dollar, the riots, uh, all right, uh, uh, all, all the hell that's the, the different earthquakes, hurricanes, okay, tsunamis, tornadoes, devouring fire, nuclear missile, the hour of temptation, all these different things. We have to be given our diligence to Yahweh Barasham Yahweh Shai so that we can escape all those things that I just mentioned that the Bible mentions. Because those things are going to come. It's the prophecy. All right. And it's, it's, it's though a Terry wait for it. It's about to come upon this place speedily, man. The Lord said he's going to make a quick, a, a, a speedy annihilation, roughly paraphrase. No, it says a speedy riddance in the book of Zephaniah, the first chapter. All right. A speedy riddance upon this place. All right. Which means when you go into it, a quick annihilation. All right. This place is going to go down quickly and speedily. So we have to make sure that we're ready at all times. Okay? That our mind is in the right place at all times. So when Yahweh Shai comes, we're accounted worthy to, to stand before him. To go and be saved and enter into them chariots, man. Alright, so let's go back to 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse 13. Watch ye therefore, stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men, be strong. Now's not the time to be weak, man. We don't want no weak motherfuckers around us, man. All right, we don't want no iffy, iffy motherfuckers around us. All right, we want men that's 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 one hundred percent invested in this truth, that's taking this word serious. All right, that's dedicating their lives to this word, dedicating their lives to this ministry. That's focused on, it's like it. That's focused on being saved, focused on being delivered. If you focused on anything else, we do not want you around us, man. All right, we only want like-minded individuals around us. The scriptures say that. I believe it's Second Ezra. Oh, is that that's also in Second Ezra? It might be the ninth chapter too. This is Second Ezra chapter. Uh, let me see. Might be eight. This is Second Ezra chapter uh, nine and verse thirteen. And therefore, be thou not. No, that's not what I want. Um. Such and such as be like thee, right? This is Second um, Ezra chapter eight and verse fifty. For many great misery shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Many great miseries are come is coming upon this world, all right. And it's walking and it's coming for the ones that is walking in great pride. So we have to walk humbly. We have to be lowly. In the book of uh, Isaiah says the Lord said to this man, Will I look? Him that is poor of a contrite spirit and trembleth at my word. You go into that word, look, it's the Hebrew word nabot, which means to regard with care. So the Lord said, to this man will I care for a man that is poor, meaning what? Meek, humble, lowly, contrite, broken in spirit, that penitent mentality, right? And that trembleth at my word and that fear me. The Lord cares for a man with those different characteristics. So we need to take heed to ourselves and examine ourselves and make sure we own those characteristics, all right? Verse 51, it says, but understand, and if we do, that the Lord increase those different characteristics with, within us. But understand thou for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. All right. For understand for thyself and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. Like minded individuals, man. All right. Men who know us that, that fear who we know us that fear the Lord. All right. Who we know uh, uh, is serious about this word. Who we know all right, uh, uh, is going to give their all and dedicate themselves to this ministry. Otherwise, you ain't got no business being around us, man. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse um, 13 again. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Scripture say put off the weak nature, all right, because many more evils is about to come upon this place. All right, cast off the mortal thoughts, okay? Let's get that. This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 4. I'm kind of speeding through because I'm, I'm short of time. Uh, but this is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 14. In verse 14, it says, let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature. All right. Put off now the weak nature. Stand fast in the faith and be fucking strong. OK, of course, we get low. We not fucking macho man, Randy Savage. All right. We're not Terminator where we don't have emotions or we don't have feelings. We catch hell. We go through shit. It hurts. All right. 
But we gird up our loins through the spirit and power Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And he gives us the strength to keep going. All right. Through our prayers, through our fasting, through our, our, our uh, um, getting into this word. This is our comfort. This is what strengthens us and allows us to keep going, man. If this ain't your comfort, move the fuck on. If you find an, if you get more comfort in, in your woman than this word, this isn't for you. All right. Or anything else. All right. If, 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 any, if you're putting anything else before this word, it's not. This is not for you. All right. Or you need to uh, uh, take heed unto yourself, examine yourself and uh, uh, get your priorities straight, man. We need to make sure our priorities is on point. All right. Which is a daily thing. OK, this is second Ezra chapter 14 and verse uh, 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, put off now the weak nature and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and hasty to flee from these times for yet hasty to flee from these times. That That's our goal. <laughs> We trying to escape the shit that's to come, not get caught up in it. All right, the scriptures say a wise man, a prudent man, foreseeth the evil and he hideth himself. The evil is coming. We see it coming. The destruction of this society is coming. The persecution of the Israelites, the ones that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, it's coming. So we have to hide ourselves. How do we hide ourselves in this word, in this ministry? Our, this truth is our shield and our buckler. It says, um, "For look how much the world." Shall be weaker through age, so much more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. So the evils is just, is just going to increase and turn up. All right. So that, that's it on that. Uh, back in Second Ezra chapter sixteen and fourteen, let all your things be done with charity. I beseech you, brethren. Ye know the house of Stephanus that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. That's uh, that's our main priority. Addicted to the ministry of the uh, of the saints. If you're addicted to something, that's all you fucking want. That's all you're focused on. If you're addicted to crack, a crackhead don't give a fuck about nothing else but getting that crack. A crackhead don't give a damn about his mama. Don't give a fuck about his children. All right. He just wants to crack. Now I'm not saying you're not supposed to care for the people that surround you. Okay, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is this has to be our top priority. This has to be the thing that we care for most. Again, Matthew 6, chapter, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all these things that sh uh, shall be added on to. Our raiment will be taken care of. Our food, our drink, everything is going to be taken care of as long as this is, uh, as long as we're taking care of our job. All right, as long as we're taking care of this ministry, everything else will fall into place. All right. So let's go from there to the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 9. And I'll start at verse 1. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. The scripture kept saying, watch and pray that you don't enter into temptation, that you may please the one that's chosen you to be a soldier. All right. Measure the time diligently. We have to be diligent in this word. And if anything is stopping us from being diligent, we must cut it off. The scripture say, let your eye be single. Okay. It also says it's better to go in the kingdom halted and maimed. All right, then they'd be cast in the everlasting fire, roughly paraphrasing. So we have to cut certain things off. All right. We have to cut certain things off if it's distracting us from this word, if it's causing us to lose focus on the goal. All right. It says, um, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. The highest is sending his only begotten son. Yahweh is sending Yahweh Shai and he's coming very, very soon. So we have to prepare for his return and make sure that, that we're doing everything that we can to be found worthy to escape the things that's to come and to stand before the son of man. As that Luke said, all right, I'm going to jump down for time's sake. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7, and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. So the ones that's going to be saved, the ones that's going to be able to escape is going to be saved and is going to be able to escape by his faith and by his works. The two go hand in hand. Faith without works is dead. Through our faith, we show our, our, our through, yeah, through our um works, we show our faith. All right. The two, uh, uh like, like it says in the book of James. OK, our works prove our faith like the apostles. They've been laboring for decades, three plus decades. Right. That's that's a sign of someone that's that, that has faith. OK, someone that's dead, that they've completely given their lives to this ministry. That is faith. We have to show that same. We have to show that sh uh, same diligence, man. All right. That same dedication, that same urgency, that same zeal. OK, it says. 
and every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for I have sanctified them from me from the beginning and ultimately it comes down to predestination but who knows if they're predestinated who got a letter in the mail saying yeah you've been selected to to get on a chariot all right You've been selected to get on a chariot. So just wait for the missiles to come and, and show this card, lift up this card to the sky, and you're gonna be saved. Then nobody then that, that didn't happen to nobody. Alright? We don't we don't know if we're the elect or not. So we have to give diligence to make our calling and election. Sure, that's the this that's the point of this video, just to be focused on this ministry. Of course, you could play with your children, of course you can fuck around with your woman, of course you can do those things. Alright? But it can't interfere with this. This is first and foremost. Alright? This is the main priority. Let me get a preset. All right, the scriptures say in the book of um, Luke, Yahweh Shai, in, uh, in the book of Luke, I believe it's the 19th cha cha chapter, Yahweh Shai said, um, occupy till I come, right? The word occupy means to be busy, right? So we have to stay busy until, until we, there's never really a, we're always doing some shit, man, all right? We're always doing something. All right, we're taking care of something, and on our leisure time, what are we doing? When we do have free time, we're still working. All right, this is this this is a full time job. Okay, this is First Timothy chapter four and verse thirteen. Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. This is the daily checklist that I read today. All right, did I give attendance to exhortation? All right, did I do a lesson? Okay, did I did I break bread with a brother, whatever it may be? Okay, uh uh, uh and to doctrine, did I watch the apostles? All right. Did I watch the elders? Did I watch the brothers? All right. Am I watching lessons to get edified? Am I growing? Okay. Am I am I am I watching uh uh um for for prophecies to come into fruition, to be manifest? Checking out the mark of the beast, seeing what seeing what the update is on that. Checking out World War Three affairs, seeing what the update is on that. So on and so forth. This is all a part of being diligent. This is all a part of being focused. Okay, it says, till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which, uh, neglect not this gift. This is not, this gift has, hasn't been given to anybody. We can't just look at this as something small. We can't look at it as a chore. This is a fucking privilege, man. Uh, uh, being allowed to participate in this uh, ministry is a privilege and truly a blessing. All right, so we can't neglect this gift. We have to continue to build upon it. The scriptures say, grow in grace. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. All right? Neglect not the gift. Why? Because in the book of Proverbs it says, A man's gift maketh room for him. If you neglect the gift, there's no room for you. But if you be diligent and continue to nourish this gift, there'll be there'll be room for you. Be, like it, be room for us on a chariot. Okay? It says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. But the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. The presbytery is the body of the elders. So we got this gift. The gift of the spirit, the gift of this ministry, all right? The gift of this word, this knowledge and wisdom and understanding from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai through the body of the elders, through the men that he has established, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And that's why we give double honors to him, all right? Verse 15, it says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. We give ourselves wholly to this word. You don't give yourself wholly to, to, uh, uh, to a woman, all right? You don't, the scripture say in the book of, uh, in the book of Sirach, let not your, your woman nor your children have power over thee, all right? While thou livest, roughly paraphrasing. If a brother know where that's at, put it on the comment board. All right, this this has to be. We give ourselves over this, uh, over to this word. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has power over us, man. Nothing, nothing else. No one else. Okay, it says, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself. And unto the doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. And participating in this ministry, giving attendance unto reading, to exhortation, to doctrine, taking heed unto ourselves and unto the doctrine. This is how we are saved. Okay? This is what pleases Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai through the foolishness of preaching. It pleased the Most High to save them that believe. So we have to continue to push this word until that famine comes. And we have to remain faithful until the end. It says, hold fast that which ye have already until the Lord comes. He that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end, the same shall receive power over the nations. The same is going to get that power. The ones that was diligent unto the end. The ones that was faithful unto the end. Those are the ones that's going to be saved. Those are the ones that's going to, uh, uh, that's going to be delivered. That's going to get a crown of life. Okay, so if we want that crown of life, if we want thrones and scepters, right, we have to honor this wisdom that we may reign for, forevermore. We have to be diligent. We have to be faithful. Okay. 
addicted to the ministry. Having that said, I don't want Rathaza. That was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Chachadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chachadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. That the Mashanakabai allows the Kumi Shah Shirali, the Bahanas, the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labaki, Yashar, Yashirali, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Mahkim, brothers, keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent. Stay faithful, stay prayed up. All right, salvation draw off nigh and redemption nearer than we believe. The scripture is saying, In them evils, be even as pilgrims, make you ready to the battle. Hear my word. Roughly paraphrasing 2nd Ezra the 16th chapter. So let's remain focused on our ministry. Let's remain focused on Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, so I don't want Rathazah. We can be delivered from the sad perils. Shalom.